Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. Today I want to show you something really cool and uh, it's pretty easy to do. So if you are like me and you have your drone footage right here um, and you shot it in 4K or anything about uh, 4 to 6K um, there is one thing you can do to get the framing right in post-production so basically it's just one effect that you can overlay on your footage and um, the first thing I'm gonna do here is to do a filmic um, overlay which is basically in timeline um, output blanking and I will say 2.35 is okay so based on that overlay I'm gonna go to the effects library go to I think it is effects no sorry it is open effects then I'm gonna search for grid and I'm gonna drag it on my footage and then you can see this grid now I want to select my footage go to the inspector and in the inspector you go to open effects and in open effects you can actually manipulate the row cells and the column cells I'm gonna go 3 by 3 and major line spacing you can change that but I will go down to zero you can actually change the line color as well so for example if you have a really bright image you might want to change the color to like red or something and you can see red is, re is really good in like any image but um, this is just the first step so we actually set this grid up and um, you can actually um, deactivate this grid right here so uh, one thing you can do if you don't want to do that for each and every video clip is you go back to the effects library go to um, I think it is uh, I think it was the effects and then you go to adjustment clip and just drag it over your clip so if you go back to open effects and then grid you can actually place that grid in the adjustment layer so we are actually back to where we started but this time it is in the adjustment uh, clip so we go to open effects change the row cells to three and this to three and this to zero and there you can see that uh, we have the same overlay like before so one thing I want to do is I want to change the line color to something brighter like this for example yeah let's use let's use this one and um, what I want to do now is I want to reposition my footage so as you might know um, if you shoot something in 4k it will be looking better in full HD now the great advantage in shooting in 4k or 6k um, and putting it out in full uh, full HD is that you can actually um, have better image quality but you can have the uh, well the, the advantage of um, repositioning your image so that's what we will do right here and to do that I wanna just go to transform I wanna 
be sure that the adjustment clip is selected and then I can actually reposition my footage. Now I can actually zoom in to the image because as I said it's a 4k image and I want to make sure that um, let's take the car and place it right here and as you can see the overlay that we actually uh, made in the timeline setting is also good because you can hide some things now if I play it back you can see the framing isn't perfect but we can change that So the camera tracks the car and there you go the car is right here and it disappears approximately on the same line and that framing is much better so let's look at the image before and after uh, this is after this is before and this is after so the great advantage is I can render this out and um, the only thing I need to do uh, I just select the adjustment clip go to the inspector and then just deactivate the grid and the position of the image will stay the same as you can see right here if I chain if I deactivate the adjustment clip you can see that's the picture before and that is after now the only thing as I said you need to deactivate the grid but uh, let's say you have some more clips down here you can actually just click the adjustment click uh, clip um, hold alt on your keyboard and then drag it over and then let go of the left mouse and there you have the exact same adjustment clip with the exact same settings so you might want to uh, deactivate the um, the positioning and to do that you go back to you just make sure you select this uh, adjustment clip go back to video and in transform you click this cycle to you know reset everything now you actually have um, reset the transform thing on the hooser uh, but you can use the grid as well and there you go that's the repositioning tutorial i hope you stay safe and stay inside and i hope to see you in the next episode of my short tutorials stay safe i'm chris Kuffel and see you in the next video bye bye